Okay, I know this sounds weird, but there are kids' toys out now that make great gifts for grown-up adult people. I'm quite serious. See? Like this one. If you're looking for great gift ideas, here are some hot toys that kids will totally love, and adults will want them for themselves. So if you follow my work, you know I've been covering the toy industry for a while now at CNET. And there's something really funny happening this year. One of the big trends now is adults buying toys for themselves. Because sure, many of us are kids at heart and we're collectors. But also, we're a little broken inside these days. And we're looking for some fun. So this year I have a toy guide for kids and kids at heart. Thames and Cosmos make some of the best build-it-yourself engineering toys, and they are often hard to find. My favorite this year is the Candy Claw Machine. You make your own arcade game. When you build it, you'll learn all about gears, belts, and hydraulics. Uh, for example, you'll learn hydraulics may not be the easiest way to pick up little candy treats. Uh, maybe you don't need any more challenges in your life right now, and you know what, that's okay. It's a tech gift that comes with lollipops. One item that's a little easier to find is this fella. He makes for great home office decor. The wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man called the Aero Dancer. Now, why should this only bring joy to car dealerships when it could bring joy to your bookshelf? And how nice is it to get a lesson in aerodynamics from your new desk mate? <laughs> it's been so long since I had a coworker share a desk with me, and he's so happy. If you didn't grow up with a koosh ball, then let me help correct that little misstep in your life, because koosh is back, and there are new accessories for it that can make koosh a fun party game. There's the Koosh Sharp Shot that becomes a target toss game where you fling it to certain areas and depending on the challenge, it's gonna light up and it has sounds and it gives you different points. There's a game of crisscross that has you connect three targets or you can hit changing targets. There's lots of silliness and stress relief here. Forget dartboards, that's just gonna put holes in your wall. You gotta Koosh it up, trust me. There's another new game. It's called Crossed Signals. It's just these light up sticks that you hold in each hand and they flash arrows and X's. You have to move your sticks up and down in the right direction at the right time to score points. It gets fast and tricky. You can play alone or play against others. It really makes for a good icebreaker game at parties when you forgot how to hold conversations with other people. Drones can be complicated and expensive, but Air Hogs makes these toy drones that are cheap and they make you feel like you have magic powers. This is the Gravitor. It senses when your hand is below and it hovers above it. And depending on how you move your hand, you could fling it around, do tricks, or just crash it into stuff. But you don't have to worry, it's really light. I would describe this as like styrofoam. And that means you don't have to worry about breaking lamps or breaking your face. There's this trick stick on top that lets you catch it and toss it around. The company behind this, Spin Master, has a website that explains all the tricks so you can press your coworkers in your next Zoom call. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh God, I gotta go get it. Oh God. <laughs> and speaking of crashing into things, Zing makes these remote controlled birds and dragons and butterflies that are fun outdoors. It's just the go-go bird butterfly, and it's very lightweight. You can race friends, you can do tricks, and the controls are very simple. So you can give this to any kid or any burned out adult who just needs to fly away from it all. It works at a distance of 60 meters, and there's not much crash guilt here because it's made of plastic. After you charge the creature with a USB cable, you'll get about 10 minutes of play out of it. And I know you're gonna think I'm crazy for this next one, but hear me out. Um, Tamagotchi. Yes, the egg creature that you keep alive from the 90s. They're still making them. They still come in many different forms now, 
and they're like $20 or less. There is even an R2-D2 Tamagotchi with all these little Star Wars games and side characters that come out to play with R2. Now, before you freak out, no, R2-D2 will not die if you ignore your Tamagotchi, but he will get a little cobwebby, so you gotta, you gotta keep, him, keep him tidy. They also have new twists on Tamagotchi called Tamagotchi Picks that lets kids use the Tamagotchi as a camera to take their own photo right next to their little critters and it lets you just pretend that you live inside that little egg all safe and cozy and free from social media. If you have to go to one of those gift exchange parties like a white elephant and you don't know what to get, this is what you get. There's someone who will laugh at the nostalgia of it, someone who was always curious and wanted to see it. Maybe someone will give it to a kid. And that's the weird thing that makes this the perfect random gift this year. Now I know someone out there is gonna comment on my video, hey, you're saying Tamagotchi wrong, it's Tamagotchi. And yes, I know, that's how it's pronounced in Japan and it's recently become the proper way to say it, but us American kids have it stuck in our brains forever that way as Tamagotchi because that's how it was pronounced in our TV commercials. So don't get mad at me. There's other stuff going on in the world right now, you know? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this little journey with me in Toyland. And if you did, give us a like, that way I know to make more content like this and subscribe to the channel because I always love showing off new fun tech toys. Um, and if you excuse me, I'm just gonna go play with my flipping head Power Rangers because they are also back for sale and they're very soothing to just flip their little heads, you know, all day. You could just you could just fidget and oh, they get a little stuck sometimes. They don't they don't make them exactly the same. It's close enough.